with the increasing concentration of protons. Now these protons then will diffuse from this place to the intermembrane space freely without energy expense. Okay, mas daghan man diri ang protons. Kaya ang electrons na hawa na, na ano man diri. Oh, sa crystal, sa, uh, sa membrane. Oh. Now, what is left is the protons which is increasing in concentration. So, they will just diffuse freely without energy expense. So, we diffuse na siya from high concentration to lower concentration. Now, there will come a time, because this is passive. No? Now, there will come a time that in the intermembrane space, this creates gradient. When you say, we call that electrochemical gradient. Electrochemical gradient. Now, what is this gradient? Now, this is created out of the influx of these protons. Protons are positively charged into the intermembrane space through, say, we call it osmosis or diffusion. So, they just diffuse or passive. No? That is passive transport from high concentration to lower concentration. Now, with the increasing gradient here, because they will just diffuse freely, now that creates a gradient like you hear back. Now, say for example, class, you're only 15 here. The, the maximum, uh, say, uh, the actual number of uh, students in this class is only 15. However, when you will be added with another 50 students, uh, how would you feel? Uh, say, how would you feel? Would you still be uh, comfortable? Okay, so goot na. Uh, goot na, so magsikuhan na na. Are you with me? Yes. And that is gradient class. Mm -hmm. What which is created? We call that electrochemical gradient out of the uh, diffusion or out of the passive transport of these protons into the intermembrane space. Now, the result of this goot, so magsikuhan ay na, dito ka. Huh? Transfer dito ba? Ay goot kayo. No? So that is gradient. So as a result, that energy that is created because this electrochemical gradient creates, a, say, produces energy. Energy that will pump these protons. So you have here that that gradient, no? Electrochemical gradient will pump the protons back to the inside of the mitochondrion. But, of course, with this, the pumping of these protons out of electrochemical gradient activates this protein here, we call that ATP synthase. No? That ATP synthase which serves as the motor that phosphorylates adenosine diphosphate to adenosine triphosphate. That is how, why there is ATP here, I ATP, I ATP, why there is no ATP here. Here, there is no gradient yet here. Oh, so you may ask me, ma'am, why there is no ATP production here when the electrons are passed from, one, from FAD X2 to cytochrome B, cytochrome B to cytochrome C. So, there is no gradient here that is created. Now, why is there ATP production here that is created out of the gradient that is formed? And uh, the gradient or the electrochemical gradient pumps those protons back to this place. Of course, activating the ATP synthase to generate ATP formation, ATP molecule. So, when ATP synthase is activated, then there is phosphorylation. So you have 
Adenosine diphosphate plus inorganic phosphate becomes adenosine triphosphate. That is what is explained in chemoosmosis. Okay? So, so far, that is um, the, um, the best theory we can explain uh, or use in explaining the mechanism of ATP generation. Okay, any question? Any question for this chemiosmosis or chemosmosis? No more? Sabdana dile. Hey, people. So, chemosmosis, come on. Chemosmosis. Theory for. Mechanism for ATP generation. Any question? Okay, we'll proceed, huh? So. You have, okay, so you have here the energy that is uh, produced. No? So if you read that, if you read that, then that's what I was explaining a while ago. No? The energy release oxidation give, uh, oxidations give rise to proton pumping. And a pH gradient is created across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Um, so, you have here how it was emphasized. Any question? Okay, you just read that. Huh? You read more so you can reinforce my explanation. Okay, so I have here the ATP synthase activation generates ATP Okay. So we have other forms of energy, of course, we have mechanical energy, heat energy, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we will discuss this. Okay, so we have a total of how many? 36. Yes, 36. ATP molecules for every breakdown of the So you have for oxidative discoordination, phosphate transfer. Now, how about glycerol class? Okay, what is glycerol? Remember, uh, when lipids are broken, it gives you fatty acids and glycerol, which are the building blocks of lipids. So, of course, not all lipids contain both the fatty acids and glycerol. But for neutral fats or the triglycerides, they are made up of fatty acids and glycerol. Now, how would this be glycerol? be used as energy. Now, glycerol can still be broken down and this would also give or yield energy. So, you have here, glycerol enters glycolysis via dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Asa mini, it can. Can I erase this? Yes. So, Glycerol dehyde, glycerol. 